Upstairs here, we've got some work going on outside, which I'll show you in a minute. This has been opened up a ton. So this was actually a bigger kitchen window. We've reduced that size. And the, re the, the front of the house is being refaced with stone uh, across the whole thing. So that window change, we won't even notice outside. All this has been opened up. Um, so this will be a massive kitchen. Um, this is the stairway to the basement, which will be closed in and fire rated. All right, guys, we're here in another conversion project. I'm here in the basement right now. I'm going to walk you through both floors, give you a quick update on things, and then show you a little bit of the outside as well. Um, you can hear we've got work going on right now as we're uh, going through this. Downstairs, we've got a big two bedroom. I'll walk you through that layout. Upstairs, three bedrooms, and a similar recipe to some of the others. We're opening things right up, gonna make it nice, big, make it feel like there's lots of space, good natural light in the basement, and open concept everywhere with pretty much brand new everything in this place. So uh, give me a sec, I'll turn the camera around and we'll walk you through it. Walking down into the basement here now. This is the big open concept living room. Um, and kitchen area. And so we can see we've got the plumbing roughed in on the floor here. This is a huge oversized egress window, which is part of this recipe. Try and bring in as much natural light as we can into the common living area. And again, pretty simple down here. Nice big, this is big enough to be a master bedroom right here. Uh, again, some of the plumbing pulled up right now at this stage of the project. Uh, stairs leading upstairs. We've got a big oversized bathroom right here and some open plumbing down here. We're still closing in that rough end. The second bedroom, again, this is a big two bedroom. So the second bedroom is oversized, could easily be the master itself. Egress window at the other end, um, bringing in lots of natural light into the main living area. This new furnace unit um, brought in for this place, gas powered. Um, the on-demand hot water tank and again, separate meters being run in, separate panels. Um, and the entire beam here running all the way down the length only a couple of openings underneath We've got lots of headroom down here So we don't have to struggle too hard to get our six foot five underneath that beam So that's basically the the rough layout of the basement here. Let me take you upstairs Upstairs here. We've got some work going on outside, which I'll show you in a minute This has been opened up a ton. So this was actually a bigger kitchen window. We've reduced that size and the, re the, the front of the house is being refaced with stone uh, across the whole thing. So that window change, we won't even notice outside. All this has been opened up. Um, so this will be a massive kitchen. Um, this is the stairway to the basement, which will be closed in and fire rated. Um, and then again, opened up in this whole area upstairs. So this, we've got our beam in place, uh, opening up this whole hallway. So this area here, kitchen, leading right down into, you can see above the fridge, this whole area is a massive open living kitchen area, um, which will be huge. And then we've got three separate bedrooms. Bedroom one right here. Again, new windows going in this place, um, which is excellent for its long-term value. Bedroom number two, um, we've got some plumbing and water issues being rectified here. And then, Bedroom number three right here uh, in the bathroom being largely left as is, but updated a little bit. So that's the layout for the upstairs. And again, this being the um, area where the stackable washer and dryer is gonna be um, inserted nice and close to the bedrooms, which is perfect. Let me just take you outside. I'm gonna show you the swimming pool that's got closed in and the stonework in the front. Okay, this area right here, um, all this regrading that you see right here was a dilapidated swimming pool. Um, which is not a huge thing. We had contractors come in, uh, professionally remove the swimming pool, which is perfect. Um, all brick house on the outside. Let me just show you the stonework. Okay, and this is the refacing on the front of the house that I just described. So all new windows with refacing of the stone on the front in progress right now. Um, brand new shingles on this place, uh, all redone, brand new windows. So this is gonna be an amazing uh, duplex when it's done because so much of the work is being redone right from the beginning. So it'll be um, like basically a brand new building. All right, so that's it for the walkthrough on this one. We'll do one or two more updates on this one before it's finished. Uh, but the key points here, new roof, new windows, new facing on the front of the house, which allowed us to change some of the windows. Headroom down here is no problem. This one was right on the cusp of the, the unit downstairs. Should it be a three bedroom? 
or a two bedroom. The rule of thumb here is if it is a three bedroom but not big enough, not functional enough, that is not the right move. And so a big two bedroom is better than a non-functional three bedroom every day. And so that's what we've done here. And it is a huge two bedroom. This will rent in a heartbeat. It's in a good area, close to transit. Um, and a big footprint like this one uh, will have no problem renting. All right, that's it for this update. And we'll be back soon to give you a couple more before we're done. Thanks for watching. After years of training, consulting, and strategizing with investors, one thing becomes very, very clear, and that is there's a one-to-one -one correlation between clarity and focus and results. For investors who have clarity and focus, their results are not only faster, but they're better. And for those who don't have clarity and focus, they struggle. They struggle to produce results. They struggle to make steps toward what they're trying to achieve because what they're trying to achieve isn't crystal clear for them. If you don't have that clarity and focus today, reach out, we can help. We have the tools and the systems to be able to flesh out those goals, flesh out that clarity of market and strategy and the approach to get you from point A to point B faster in the most expedited path possible. And where we don't have the tools, we have developed strategic partnerships with people that we're happy to introduce you to, to help gain clarity and focus. That is the number one linchpin that we see with investors. And thank you for watching. Some people have reached out in appreciation of the content and asked how they can support. There's a very simple mechanism to be able to do that. If you would like, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. These are all things that help us propagate our content, help get our content out to more investors, and we would be hugely appreciative of that. Thanks again for watching.